do, do, do. There we go. Hi. What up? That, yeah. That's good, I think. Cool. Nice from the We're actually running low. We're running low on pain? Yeah, just like... Certain, certain ones. Yeah, yeah. We some more pains. Yeah, I know. I keep looking at them at work. And I'm like, I can do anything with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always want to get more pains. Mm -hmm. um, What's up, people? Howdy, people! Howdy, people! We got nobody here yet, but that's okay. We're just gonna chill and paint. Not yeah. really. Yeah. Oh, I think one person just showed up. Um, we got the chat on there so we can see that. We got the tunes going. We are ready to roll. Yeah. I'm just mixing up the paint because I haven't used it for a while, so it's kind of plumper. We're gonna be painting Gloomhaven miniatures this yeah. time. Uh, we're starting a game of Gloomhaven with a couple friends, so we need to get these painted. We figured we'd do those on our stream. This is my little guy. He's it's still... probably easier to show the picture of them. Yeah. What up, Mandy? Hello, hello. That's the act. That's the picture of the guy. Yeah, this painting. was mine. We ended up. I ended up picking That's... the tank, which I was very happy about because I love you, music. Yeah, so the game's really cool. Um, there's like a bunch of these sealed envelope things. And, uh, hold on, I just wanna turn down the music on our end a little bit here. Yeah, it's a little loud. That's a little too much, there we go. Um, yeah, there's all these like sealed envelopes and they have little symbols on them. And then you just kinda pick whatever symbol you think is coolest and pull it out and it gives you this whole little package with your character and a little miniature and everything. So you kinda randomly pick it. But yeah, I got this funny little tinkerer guy because he had a big gear on him and I thought the gear looked cool. So, that's what we're so, going to be doing. Mine pretty much looks like it's like all like one color almost. It's just kind of like a bone color. So we have this kind of bonish color. So I'm going to paint it all that color and then add shading where it's necessary and also paint over top of it. Let's see the is picture. a completely different color, you know. Ganox Brute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just it like awesome. variations Thank of that. His skin color looks almost gray. It's like a bluey gray, but I'm yeah. just still gonna go over the whole thing. Start with kind of that skull. Just give him the base color, because that's mostly that color. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, just add shading on top of it where it's necessary. Yeah. And mix Should and match this, this one color, because it's all it is. Is this the wet palette? Uh, yes, that's the wet palette. My guy's got a lot of similar colors on too. I'm gonna go partially by this and partially just by my own accord. Uh, Mandy said she's digging the song. That's yeah. Good. The song. Oh, did you hear that? I guess people are finding that. Um, it's, uh, there's a YouTube channel. They're like a group and they all play this MMO together. And, um, they, like, through Fiverr, they hired me to write a song for them and record vocals and everything. So, like, they wrote the, no, nope, I wrote the lyrics. That's right, yeah, I wrote everything on that. I wrote the song, the lyrics, we recorded the vocals. But it was all supposed to be, it's for their fifth year anniversary, I'm pretty sure. They've been playing this game for five years. And, uh... That's fun. Yeah, and they're all excited about that. Well, that was the one we both did. We both did record vocals on it. And it's right. on, it's on yeah, Spotify yeah. now. I had no idea they were gonna upload it to Spotify. And people keep showing me, they're like, oh, what's this track with Wasmo that came up? Yeah, apparently so. there's lots of listens on it on Spotify, so that's good. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. yeah. Any other ways that people are going about discovering us is always good. Yeah, yeah. right? The, um, and that's the whole good thing about Fiverr, too, is like being on a bunch of people's songs. Like, you never know these songs going out into the internet, what one is going to get attention. And if you're on it, then bing, bang, boom. Uh, recording the little like choir -y thing in the beginning was pretty cool. That's fun. So that I was fun. That. I haven't really done anything like that before, so that was kind of cool. 
yeah, it was a fun song to put together. I'm glad people are enjoying it. Yeah, getting some attention. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. We're getting closer and closer to getting the cover album ready. I've got a lot of the skeleton yeah. kind of things together for it now. Straight on G and Teen Tag Girl. Oh, that's awesome! Thanks. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, got a lot of the skeleton tracks ready and everything for the remasters and stuff. And uh, shouldn't be too much longer till we're ready to be able to like figure out releasing the album and give out a release date and stuff. Oh yeah, just yeah. kind of working on it when we can. I'm excited to get that out there because I think having lots of covers out on um, Spotify is going to help our discovery a little bit. Oh yeah, because people will Google or like search on Spotify the song they want to listen to and ours will be there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And there's a good few songs that we've covered that there really aren't covers of otherwise. So Yeah, um, like uh, the Meatloaf cover. That yeah, one there probably that... really aren't any metal covers of that. No, so well that... that one actually has like quite a, like out of all of our covers, it has a decent amount of views on YouTube compared to some of them. Yep. Because I think people just listen to Meatloaf and then they come upon that cover and they're like, well, a metal cover. Yeah. The new album going to be available on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the cover album. So it's it's a compilation of like all the covers we've done over the last year or so. Um, and, uh, but they're all gonna be like remastered and touched up to sound yeah, more like yeah. our newest ones that we're doing. And it goes all the way back to um, the What's Up cover. Like we're going all the way back to there and like the Weezer cover we did back then. So like most of the songs from that point forward are going to be on it. There's a few exceptions, but um, yeah, most of them are gonna be on this on this cover album all redone and re-recorded and remastered. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Yeah, we're excited. It's called Pocket Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then after that is when we really start going to work on uh, Insight, like the redo of Insight. Yeah, yeah, the original album. Yeah. That'll still be a ways out. We're still waiting on a few things to really, really get that together. Because the main thing is we want to be able to record drums on that. Because we want Alfie to be a part of it. And we're waiting on drum mics in the mail. And I got to buy some new cymbals and all kinds of things like that. But it's all coming. The cover album's exciting. Very exciting. Slowly but surely. So I got to decide how I want to start painting this guy. He's so small. I know! That, I was looking at yours. I'm like, how the hell are you gonna paint that? Like, ultimately, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't take too long to paint. I don't think mine's so gonna take long but, to paint either. But man, I just, I don't know where to start with him. He's got so much gear on. I know I wanna use bronze on like a good few parts of him or brass or whatever the one I have is. Um, I'm just trying to decide on what I kind of want to base coat a lot of it with. I need a Let's brown. See. Actually, maybe. Oh, definitely brown. Maybe um, the same red? sort of brown that I used for the wood on the uh, Daily Bugle building. Yeah, it's kind of sienna. reddish. Yeah, it's like a reddish brown, which is like this parasite brown. I think I might try this. I just kind of have to start. Once it started, figured yeah, it out from there. Started. Yeah. This is the perfect color. Yeah, Screaming Skull is a fantastic color. I use that for a lot of stuff. I very often I use it for highlights. It's the most often. I wish we had more like uh, like blocking and stuff. Because their bases are kind of like boring yeah we could get some more flocking the only flocking that i have is for snow yeah so you can make it look like there's snow on the base so do you still have the skulls oh i still got lots of skulls yeah i was kind of wanted to put like a pile of skulls by his feet you he's could. supposed to be like barbaric like me yeah you can totally put a pile of skulls at his feet oops oh. <laughs> but that will all come in time indeed yeah, I got a good variety of different skulls, so. I 
I feel like really hot today. I don't know what it is. Like my, I feel like I'm like flushed or something. You want the air conditioning on? You can put it on for a bit if you want. I think because I was just sitting at the computer all day. Yeah. Literally just like staring at a screen, like typing in words and copying and pasting shit and just. Yep, that can, that can do it. <laughs> and also drinking beer beer tends to make me hot like temperature wise <laughs> yeah that can do it this playlist it's always really uh just chill yeah it's the perfect music for this stream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm basically just kind of covering it entirely in this ground at this point that's what i did with this guy I guess this is just where I want to start from. Alright. Woo! What? The base would be nice on these. Because they're like a little bit funny. Yeah. So its main purpose is you put it on metal and it makes it look like um, worn or kind of like, not rust, rust is the wrong word, but like, um, like less new and shiny, kind of dulls it out a bit. Um, it will sort of like leave a gray. You can use it for a lot of stuff. Like it's really, really useful for a variety of things. Yeah. Um, it's good on browns. It'll kind of darken and uh, add some shading to brown colors. Um, but no, it's not contrast black. It's it's quite, quite different than contrast black. I spilt all the contrast black, unfortunately. I guess and I still I can. bought more. Yeah, this is what I mean by rust. Running low, a little bit on heat. Yeah, certain stuff we are, you're right. Alright. I mean, it's a shade, right? So. Yeah, it is. Uh, so you're wanting to shade that with it? Well, not the whole thing, but parts of it. Like, you see, like, like the skulls on his knees. Yeah. Like, that would do that, right? Uh, yeah, give it a go. See what happens. I, yeah, I think I've used Nelm Oil to, I think that's what I used to shade the skulls on. Um, yeah, I imagine it would, it just, it's gonna fill in the gaps and give it more depth. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, it's especially good. Like anytime you paint um, a weapon with metal on it, like a sword or whatever, always put some melon oil on afterwards. And you can put like a decent amount of melon oil on and it, it, it just looks so much better afterwards. They just don't look as like shiny and brand new. It's a little more realistic. certain way for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. A lot of them are getting low. But these little paints are not cheap. No. They're worth it. They're really good paint. They're not cheap. things to dry is the bane of my existence when it comes to painting miniatures. I hate it. I hate having to wait for things to dry. I just want to keep painting. I haven't actually read my character's little story yet. Oh, you haven't? No, but I'll read it out loud. It says, <clears throat> Quartal Tinkerer. Because of their diminutive size, the, oh, Quatrel? Quatrel. Yeah, he's a Quatrel. That's his species. The Quatrel feel they have a lot to prove. From an early age, they are encouraged to study as much as possible about many different subjects. Though there are expert qu quatrels in any field, they seem to have a particular affinity to engineering and machinery. Their long, delicate fingers allow them to build all manner of intricate contraptions to make life easier and augment their inferior physical strength. Though they are not numerous, quatrels can easily in uh, integrate themselves into any society due to their expertise in critical fields and their charming, graceful demeanor. Only a fool would shun a quatrel's offer to help. The Tinkerer is a fairly common class of Quattrol to be found in a large city. They are experts in crafting all manner of gadgets and elixirs, and they typically uh, make a living selling them to those wishing to indulge in the convenience of these creations that these creations offer. There are more adventurous Tinkerers, however, who travel beyond a city's walls using all the tools at their disposal to brave the wilds in attempts to uncover ancient curiosities that may give insight into their research. Ooh. The little crafters. Go. Oh, cool. Was that? Oh, no, that you used, used some of the brown as well. Yeah. It's really cool. I'm definitely going to want to use some of the screaming skull. If you can pass me some of the screaming skull. Add one of those magnifying glass thingies. Right. Yeah. Especially for this character. He's so small. I often think that. I just feel like there's definitely some little details on his face that I just can't quite see. That's what he is. He's 
very good guy. Okay. Oh, I guess you just kind of mixed this up, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. It's already pretty well mixed. I'm gonna need something a little smaller than the character brush. Oh, I suppose I could use my fancy brush. Probably not a bad idea for him. Um, but not yet. For this, I might actually. Yeah, this will be cheap for this. But I will be using my fancy brush. song's really cool. <laughs> this is my favorite one so far tonight. Attempting to paint the portions of his face that don't have goggles on them is really difficult. Mm. He's got two different pairs of goggles. I know this wearing goggles, and then he's got goggles above his goggles. And unfortunately that isn't dry yet. It's still dry. So as I started painting it, I was like, nope, this is not dry. It's just wet blending now, which isn't what I wanted. Back of his head is dry, though. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks so cool. Yeah, that's really good. I love when you do something you don't think it's gonna work out. Yeah, it worked out really good. My left eye is hurting so much because I got shampoo in my eye when I was showering, oh. and it's like it's just been killing me ever since. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I ever got shampoo. Well, that's a lie. Do you remember those commercials with like the the kids herbalescent, and then the kids would put the soap on their eyes and rub it off, and they're like, it doesn't hurt when you get it in your eyes. And then I tried that. I'm like, it fucking hurts. You shouldn't lie to kids and say you can put soap in your eyes. Oh what the fuck? You just like went and tried it? Like you just Because the kids the on the commercials literally put like that was the thing, that was the commercial. Like their face would be covered in soap and they rub it off their eyes and they open their eyes and they're all happy. So I did that. Oh and I'm like, wow, like this futuristic shampoo doesn't hurt your eyes. And then it did, it did, it really hurt. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I definitely saw those commercials, but I don't think at any point I was like, oh, I should go try that. I feel like lots of kids saw that. <laughs> and then I was just like, yeah, I'm still not going to put that in my eyes. Well, it was a very adventurous try. I was adventurous too. I just wasn't going to put shampoo in my eyes. You're missing out. 
I don't think I am. I'm like a trust fund. I'm kind of thankful that I got a big character. Yeah, I was just thinking like I wish I'd have gotten a bigger character. <laughs> It's a very me character. It's just uh, not the easiest character to paint. You are a tinkerer. Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> In the <laughs> brush mug. starting to figure out like how I want to paint him but it's definitely like a process just a process of like looking at different parts of them and just thinking like what should I paint that because <laughs> he's slightly different than his picture too like the miniature itself is so. What? Oh, hey, what up? What are we listening to? Um, it's a uh, playlist on Spotify. It's a, uh, it's, it's just called like, like royalty free. yeah, royalty free. Uh, but it's, it's got some really good stuff though. This is, uh, what are these guys called? Psalm Trees, like P-S-A-L-M Trees. The song's called Meadows. Um, the actual, what's the actual name of the playlist, if I look here? Oh, uh, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> it is called Royalty Free Lo-Fi Instrumental by Ryan Dufo. It's got lots of stuff on it. Maybe I can put a link to it. Can I put a link to it? Let's see if I can put a link to it. Share, copy link to playlist. Yeah, I really like it too. There's been some good jams on it tonight. There it is. 
This is what we play so we don't get in trouble by YouTube for playing um, <laughs> copywritten music. But I really like it. It's good. It's like exactly what we want to listen to when we're sitting here painting. So. All right. Starting to get somewhere with this guy. Oh, so while you're here, if you're still here watching, um, and I'll mention it to anyone else watching this stream later or whatever, if you haven't heard the announcement yet, we have a new, like, we're going to be starting a new stream at the end of the month. We're going to be playing D&D uh, &D, um, with the band, so it'll be me, Shannon, and Alfie playing, and then uh, Pip is going to be DMing, and we're very, very excited for it. We're going to do the first episode on Halloween. It'll be live on Halloween uh, night, and uh, I don't, we don't know time yet, but I'll make sure everybody knows what time we're going live when we're doing it. And it's it's probably gonna be really fun. So check that out when it comes out. face first, which is really strange. Wouldn't normally ever paint the face first on a miniature, but I just, that's where I started and I really want to get his oh. face painted. Keep doing that. <clears throat> I'll probably get glue. Should be a good glue. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, Halloween night. That's the plan anyways. If that changes, we will let it, uh, people know. But yeah, currently we are planning on doing the first one on Halloween night. And then it'll be every Sunday uh, from that point on. And we we were doing our gaming stream on Sunday and probably until then we will, but uh, we're gonna move that to a different day. Oh, that looks good now that I got the blue on there. I want to brighten it up a little bit though. Actually, I should... Should I do the other blue spot now? Yeah, I suppose I might as well. Uh, no, I'm going to do something else first. Silver. 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 I ho silver. Uh, this is where I gotta be like really. Precise. That's the thing, the more that I sit here and paint them, the more I do see all the little individual details on them, and then I'm like, I gotta, I gotta do that, and I gotta paint this, and have a look on here again. Trying to keep him as close to the picture on his card as I can, but there are some yeah, cards. Yeah, nice that, um, that we got a little bit of a wreck. Mm. 
But there's some parts that I'm kind of just doing my own thing with too. One thing I've been saying we'd like to get for this stream eventually is a few more cameras so that we can have this one here that shows us, but then like a little one over here that's focusing on our miniatures we're painting so you can see it a little closer and actually see what we're doing. One day. One day we, when we can afford more nice things like that. Oh, that looks fantastic. It just keeps looking better and better. I'm very excited about it. And your character's gonna look cooler than mine. Mine's coming along though. It'll look alright. Your character's gonna look tiny. He's just tiny. Very teeny tiny. He's just a little guy. Oh yeah, it's uh, over there, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I put it over there earlier. You didn't, I was just making sure you weren't going to exist doing something that was really precise. There we go.
Just because he has a lot of little details and he's small. Yeah. I painted like some really tiny miniatures before, but they don't have a ton of details. So they're a lot easier. He's just got so many little details. Thank you. 
I feel like we've heard this one before on the stream. This one sounds familiar to me. Yeah. Just that like beer on here. Bah. Yeah, it's funny because like he doesn't have this little. Oh, he does have the little cape on. Never mind. Now I see it. Okay. Okay. looking really good. I think that looks better than the texture so far. I just like all the shading and everything and the dry brushing. It looks awesome. I just can't like do much dry brushing with this one or anything because it's so small. have to get as much of the little details as I can and then do some stuff to it afterwards to give it some more depth and yeah. shading. Yeah, this one, these ones require quite a bit of focus. They this do. is so small. And if, <clears throat> since you can't really like see them, like I can kind of show you, but like we don't have the best camera angles. But if you don't follow us on Discord, um, we always post pictures of what we painted on our Discord afterwards in more up close detail. So if you're interested in that, you can go find them there.
that's right there.
yes, we do. We do get it from Lancelot Games. And I work there now. So yep. it has been fun, but also very, very tempting to spend my entire paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very <true>. There. <laughs> it's hard not to. But it's kind of fun because I get to see a lot of cool things. Like, I'm super into magic, so there's often, like, lots of cool magic cards there that I get to, like, look through and price and ones that you wouldn't normally see. So, yeah, it's kind of exciting. Oh, sorry. And now that I do work there, I how many paints that we're missing <laughs> and how many paints that I want <laughs> yeah there's lots lots more paint to get <laughs> oh, yeah. available I'll try and show off what I've painted so far in a minute on the camera. I'll see if I can get it focused and everything on him. He's starting to come together in some way, shape, or form. Thinking of what? Oh, I remember what I was going to do next. It's always like something I have planned where I'm like, this part next, do this part next, and I forgot. I remember. Oh, actually, I have a little bit of brown right here. That might be all I really need. Oh, I see what that is. I guess that's a quiver. That would make sense, because he's got a crossbow. Back end of his crossbow brown. Oops. Oops. Black mold oil everywhere. That. Hard to know what else to really do with him. Um, got an idea. Oh, hey, what up, Thomas? Hey, Thomas. There you are. <laughs> I know, I was getting worried about you. I was like, where is he? We're painting really tiny things tonight, Thomas. Well, yours isn't as tiny as mine. Mine's no. really tiny. Yeah. I'm going to try and show it off in a second here. <laughs> Thomas says, don't ever say it's tiny. <laughs> We are doing all right. 
tonight's just a super chill stream. We haven't really been chatting too much just because we're focusing a lot. Yeah, yeah, we've been a little less chatty. Not as much pocket cheese this time. Not but... as much pocket cheese. Is <laughs> that right? How... That's just because we're focusing. How are you tonight, Thomas? Already. <laughs> Same. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Gotta go back to the store and get some good old fashioned American cheese. Yeah, it's always important to have some on hand. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I went and made a thumbnail for that uh, live stream. It's really funny. You should go check it out if you haven't seen it. painting the base black now just because I want to see the base black I find like it's weird but the having the black base adds so much definition to the character allows like your eye to focus on the character more or something I don't know super tired work to tell yeah yeah I know that would be very understandable to be tired I'm not too tired today I think we actually got pretty decent sleep last night yeah definitely Yeah, but we did wake up to an alarm. That was a little bit. Yeah, I know I was too, but the, we we still did technically wake up to an alarm. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid work. Stupid work. You like your work now. I do. <laughs> Before it was I stupid work, that. now you like your work. <laughs> I like my work too. I got um, things very set up and ready to finish the rest of what we need to finish for the uh, cover album. So it's very excited. That was like a big thing I did today. I kind of got a lot of like the skeleton tracks ready. So really all we got to do is just record vocals on some of the older ones to update the vocals and then it's all good. This match is a massive project. Yeah, no, that would be a lot for sure. I mean, yeah, like that's the thing. You can like what you do and still be annoyed by work. That's definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> There's no harm. Even with music and doing fireworks sometimes and stuff like that, every now and then I get like a little bit fed up of staring at a screen and staring at a mixer and plugins and everything else. And at some point I'm just like, oh my God, I need to do something else for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at taking breaks, but I've been trying to force myself to take like little breaks here and there now, so. I gotta let that dry because his face needs to dry, but that looks a lot better with the black face. I'm gonna have to do another coat of black over it, but. Uh. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, hearing the end result does make it all worth it. It's funny, it does now, especially, like, um, when you first start doing it, or like when you're still like early on in mixing and mastering and getting things together, sometimes that's not true. Sometimes you spend, like I remember spending hours and hours and hours putting this something together and then getting the end result and then just being like, there's something missing, there's something not right. And you can never get to that end, but I find now I do get to that end. So it's good.
I need another drink. Oh, I have another drink. Here. <laughs> Yeah, experience plays Here. the biggest role. Cheers. Pinky yeah, shoulder. That does happen. He's starting to come along. Wow, he is. Just waiting for all that black He's to so dry. Tiny. He's very tiny. Bud Light, indeed. It's not necessarily my favorite beer. I don't mind it, though. I, I like, like it. I like it! Jeez! That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> I think it's good. I like Bud Light. I, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it's not my favorite beer. It's your favorite beer. <laughs> I like Moosehead. But you are in the land of good beer. I'm confused. This is how I feel sometimes. <laughs> there you are like better. It. I like it, but there are better beers. But I like dark beer, and you don't like dark beer. I don't like so. dark beer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's one Sue that. Me. There's one that I get um, that you do like called Moosehead. Yeah, but that's a Moosehead's light beer. Moosehead's Canadian. That's Moosehead's longer. really good. It's a longer. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with lagers, but I like dark beers. Like all of a dark Guinness. Light. It's just so. <laughs> Whatever. It's just no. <laughs> That's what he actually meant to say. <laughs> I enjoy it. Well, I enjoy it doesn't bother me. It's just beer. It, it is what it is. But yeah, no. I uh, my favorite is um, this uh, brand called Innocent Gun. I don't know if they have Innocent Gun in the States or not, but uh, Dark Beer is also my favorite. Fat, fat Tire is my favorite. Interesting, I've never heard of Fat Tire. I'll have to look for that. I really like Innocent Gun. Um, it's funny, they only really have one like type of Innocent Gun here in Nova Scotia that I've been able to find. There's different like types, and they're brewed in scotch barrels and whiskey barrels and all this stuff. Um, but there's one called Innocent Gun Blood Red Sky, and I can never find it, but it's my favorite. I'm so yeah. Excited. Oh yeah, definitely. So we'll definitely have to get some. Yeah, that's there's a lot of blue breweries around here and a lot of really good breweries, but we pretty well always get either a case of Moosehead or a case of Bud Light. <laughs> So. That's me. It's my fault. Because if I if I don't get that, you're not gonna drink any of it. So, or move. Well, you will drink Moosehead. That's it. I like Moosehead. Yep. Moosehead's good. Moosehead is Nova Scotia. I'm pretty sure. It's Canadian, and I'm pretty sure it's Nova Scotia where it's brewed. So. Is, uh, what'd you call it? Fat Tire? Is Fat Tire a Canadian beer? Or is that an American beer? Take Coors or Michelob Ultra for Bud Light. <laughs> I like Michelob. Yeah, Michelob's not bad. But, I, like, I'll, like I said before, like, I'm not really picky. Like, I, I don't really, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I really just don't like. Breakfast sausages. I was talking about drinks, but yeah. No, actually, that's true for food, too, though. Like, most of the time with food, I'm not all that picky, picky. But there are specific weird little things that I don't like. It's American. Uh, new Belgian brewery out of Colorado. That's cool. There's weird, like, specific food things that I don't like. Um, but most food I'll just eat, and it doesn't bother me. But for whatever reason, I don't really like breakfast sausages, like the little sausages. I... There's these maple ones that we've had. I like those, but aside from that, I can't find any other breakfast sausages that I actually like. 
Um, and I'm not a big fan of squash. I just don't like the texture of squash, like the stringiness in it. I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting about, but uh, aside from like those little things, I, yeah. I pretty much eat anything. Breakfast sausages are the shit. I agree. I always get breakfast sausages. I wish I out. liked them, you monster. <laughs> I wish I liked them, I do. I've tried to before. I even, like, that place we went to in PEI, uh, Made Marion's, was awesome. I love Made Marion's. They had really good food, and then the last day that we were there, I got, um, they called it like the Sherwood Forest, and it was bacon and sausages and ham and like a bunch, of, it was just a crazy pile of food. Um, and the sausages were good, but I still didn't really like them that much, so. Squash is horrible. Sorry. Oh, I love mushrooms. Mushrooms, I love. Olives. I do not I, like mushrooms. I love mushrooms of all kinds. Like magic mushrooms. Every mushroom. I like every mushroom. I, um, I, I try to eat more of them since we watched that documentary. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> olives. Olives, I could take or leave. I don't really like them, but I don't really hate them. I prefer, I don't mind green olives. Black olives, I'm not a big fan of. And Kalmata olives, I could eat a billion of. Kalmata olives in particular, I love those like red ones with the they usually have a pet in them. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. They're black. Kalmata olives? Yeah. I've had them before and they're like wine red, like a really dark red. Yeah, maybe. It's a really, really dark red. I think they're black. Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the ones I had were. Like a deep, deep red. No fungus for me. Fungus among us. I can really do with this little guy. I'm still working away on mine here. I'm getting there though. Yeah, yeah, he looks awesome. He looks scary. He is. My guy just looks like a little nerd. Oh, I have an idea. It would definitely look better if I do that. I want some pocket cheese. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Always craving pocket cheese. Mm. You know what we, we should really get? Because I was thinking about that, how it was like, I wish I had to film that. But there, there's no way, realistically, I would have actually been able to film that because it was so quick. Like, we were just driving by, and then I just saw it happen. There's like no way I could have ever like pulled out my phone in that small frame of time and actually filmed it. What we really need is the dash cam. Cause there's yeah. some crazy shit that we drive by sometimes around oh, here. I know. And it's like, wild. Yeah, we just need to capture that craziness. Pretty good. 
Oh, right, that's, okay, there's one more little thing. Let's make some food and knock out. Much love, y'all. See you in the Discord tomorrow. Yeah, see you Yeah, later. man. Thanks for, for dropping sure. by. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, chatting for a little bit, but get some rest. We will talk tomorrow. That my no 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 oh my god <laughs> is this gonna come out go wash it now go get it wet right now like throw it in the sink put some water on it um we need some paper towel this is the first time we've done this on the stream no Miranda spilt or pit spilt the blue. Yeah, not as much as that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you soak it right away? I put it in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good idea. Crisis averted. Jesus. Thomas just missed that one. I know. <laughs> wow. That's funny. I Alright, so. Let's 
sepia wash, and these, these are all washes. No, that's heavy sienna. That's an umber wash. Muddy. I think the CD is more what I actually want. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to go too dark with it. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of shading now. A few different spots. Yeah, Use my cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she enjoys climbing places she's not supposed to. Yeah. Smudgy. Should not be up here, little one. Exactly what I want it to do. Muzzy, come up. Be up here, baby girl. I love you, but I don't want you to have sticky little paws everywhere. This is adding the bits of definition that I was missing. It's looking way better. Now, I need some of the null oil that just got spilt everywhere. <laughs> I hope that comes out of my sweater. Yeah, I hope so, so too. Now I don't have my paper towel. Oh, I must have used it. Here. Be a tear off of mine. Whoops. But steel. Yeah. See? That's pretty good. 
small little detail that I want to add in here. little thing I want to do here that I think I'm actually pretty much done. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Just needed a tiny bit of that. <laughs> with that. difficult than it should be. Let me hold him up here. And my thumb in front doesn't help. focus right on them but you can kind of see what's going on here he's got a little potion in his hand he's got some goggles on if you really do want to see what it looks like we will be posting them in the discord too yes
couple spots on the base here. See how long the stream has been, how long it took to paint. Uh, hour and 36 minutes. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. You want to know what's a good way to prevent from spilling? Yeah. Closing the lids. <laughs> Try to peel that off when you can so that they actually close properly. Well, no, I'm just saying in general, like, oh. if you notice that, just, uh, just try and peel it off. Oh, it's probably got chunks sitting in the top. I should get a bunch of the, the, like these droppers, the empty ones. I think Lance actually sells some of the empty droppers. Um, and just transfer all of these paints into dropper bottles. The dropper bottles are just so much better than these stupid little containers.
we go. This character I likely will put varnish on. Um, probably just wait till like tomorrow to do that and do that quick or something when it's all dry. But these characters make sense to have varnish. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That looks so cool. There's so much detail on that, it's crazy. Yeah, it looks awesome. Ah, it's so um, yeah, because we'll be playing with these lots and moving them around lots and all that. Yeah. So varnish would be good to make sure the paint yeah, doesn't come off. Be worth it. eventually. But I'm quite pleased with all the little details I've done on here. And it's just so small, like you can you can go so far with the details on them, but at some point like you can't do too much because only so much you can see and from for the majority of the time when you're playing this is where you're gonna see him from is that far away and he looks really good from that far away it's perfect
to see your guy. Yeah, that looks so cool. Are you going to do the bass black? Um, I think so. I don't know if I'll do that. No, you don't have to. Oops. I just think it's going to look better with the bass black. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sammy. Oh, Sammy's here. It's always so late on the um, the chat here. What up, Sammy? You're just catching us at the tail end. Pretty much. We just finished painting these little miniatures. Um, I'll sh see if I can show it again. I'll just put them up to the camera here. Hold on. I just want to change this. Still kind of painting mine. Shannon's finishing hers. I finished mine just a little bit ago. This tiny little guy. It's really hard to see. It doesn't focus well. But I'm going to put a picture of him in the Discord. So then you can see. I actually might do that right now. Um, but this is what he's supposed to look like. Oh, no worries. It's all good. You can always watch this again later, too. Start it from the beginning once it's done. We weren't super chatty in this one. We were, like, really focused because we had to paint these tiny little things and be really intricate. Um, so, yeah. We're usually a little chatty. The one on Sunday, we were a lot chattier. Or was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Anyways. Sure we yeah. <clears throat> it was something like that. Yeah, I'll post the picture in Discord now. So then you can hop in there and check it out if you want. Normally we do this stream on Wednesday nights. Um, but we didn't last night for whatever reason. I think you got home late. We were doing things. We had fiber work. We, yeah, we had work to get done, and we just didn't have time. Um, but we're kind of like messing around our whole schedule now, lately, and it was like we're changing everything up. Like now we're doing a video every other week so that we can work on a whole bunch of other projects that we're trying to work on, and so that we have more time to plan our like music video and stuff like that. So yeah. But our streaming schedule, by the end of this month, we'll have a very solid idea of what our streaming schedule really is going to look like. Um, we're starting our D&D stream at the end of this month. is going to make a flash in a moment. Don't be startled. Yep, on Halloween oh, we'll be not. starting the D&D &D stream. So yep. That should be a fun Halloween for everyone. Yeah, definitely. We're going to rock some costumes and everything for sure. It's going to be lots of fun. Our characters are really fun and interesting. <laughs> Oh yeah, these pictures look pretty good. Yeah, I'll go put that in the Discord. Uh, I guess I'll just put it in the general chat. check that out if you want yeah it's gonna be super fun uh and alfie's gonna be here too he's got the character we're all gonna be playing and that'll be every sunday night after I'm after halloween i'm sorry every sunday night after halloween we're gonna be playing our dnd stream which is gonna be a lot of fun am i shaking the table yeah i'm always shaking the table um yeah definitely do 
and then and like obviously it'll go up on the channel after words so like if you can't catch it live one night you'll still be able to watch it um later on yeah be lots of fun. Do, do, do. Um, and then our next painting stream we'll go back to painting our marble stuff again we're still trying to finish that entire box of stuff but we've almost got all the terrain painted so after that then we're just painting the characters and uh, I feel like that won't take too long. Then maybe we can actually play the game. <laughs> what? What? His eyes. Oh, let me see. They look really good. What's wrong with his eyes? Yeah, you could do that. Careful with that though, because it'll darken them a bit, and I kind of like them being a bit brighter like that. of work towards um, the cover album. I think that's the overall plan for tomorrow. We're going to be doing lots of vocal recording. So I want to get that done as soon as I can so I can figure out what the release date is so I can tell everybody when it's coming out. But I just, I don't know until we get that done. But yeah, it won't be too much longer. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. That's awesome. Yours looks insanely good. Like mine doesn't look bad, but I think yours looks way better. He's very little, <laughs> especially compared to yours. Yours is a towering giant. Uh, let me see. Ya. Water on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you also missed it. I spilled like an entire bottle of paint on myself. Oh, yeah. My yeah. Like everywhere. And it was really watery paint, too. <laughs> and expensive paint. <laughs> One of the more expensive paints of all the ones here. <laughs> Yet. No, but that's okay. That's an easy thing to do. do that later. It usually takes like two coats. Oh, that's awesome. I'm happy you found us on Spotify. That makes me happy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that song, um, it's funny. A lot of people are like finding that song now, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. But that song was um, like a commission. So I, I do work on Fiverr and. Um, People will pay me on there to record vocals or guitar or write songs or whatever. So that's for a channel on YouTube. Um, they play uh, this war MMO and they've been playing it for a good few years now. Uh, I think their channel is called 82DK or DK82. Um, they, uh, so they've been playing this game for like, I don't know, five years I think it was and it's their five year anniversary and um, they wanted a song written for their five an year anniversary um, about their like game and about their mascot they have and all this other stuff. So <clears throat> they hired me and I wrote the lyrics for that. I um, wrote the song, me and Shannon did the vocals, like did the whole thing. Uh, but it's really cool. I had no idea they were gonna release it on Spotify. I thought it was just gonna be on YouTube. And lots of people are finding it now because it's got like, Wasmo on it. So yeah, it's awesome. Glad people really enjoy it. It was fun to put together. And it was definitely like one of the better commission projects that I've done in the last while. 
There's one I've been working on recently, just vocals, but it's really good. I really like it. It's been um, some cool stuff, so I'm excited for when that like comes out, when I can tell people about that one. Yeah, it's been popping up on a bunch of people's radar release playlists. Yeah, like like pretty well anyone that follows us, it, it's been popping up on their uh, release ones. Super cool. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm excited for this cover album and releasing the cover album. Like obviously that's gonna show up on everyone's release uh, radars, but I'm hoping it shows up on a bunch of different playlists too and a bunch of different things because it's gonna be covers of lots and lots of songs. And some of the covers, um, there aren't really like covers of on uh, Spotify, like our meatloaf cover and stuff. And the cover, it's gonna span all the way back to the What's Up cover. Most of the covers from the What's Up all the way up to the recent stuff are gonna be on the compilation album. So there's a few exceptions, but most of them are gonna be on there. And they're all gonna be updated and they're gonna sound better than they did when we first put them out and everything. So yeah, super exciting. Be a big album. It's gonna be twenty some on songs. Yeah. And we did show the album artwork too. It was in the Discord. And uh, if you watch our announcement video, if you haven't seen that yet, the like uh, update video we put out the other day, we showed the artwork in that as well. Are you snapping pictures? Trying to. Yeah, I found it was better with the flash. I got way better pictures with the flash. It looks really cool when it gets lit up like that. Yeah, that's a good picture. Oh yeah, that's a great picture. Yeah, go post that. Get the back too. I did the front and back of mine. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, definitely stay posted. We got lots and lots of stuff coming. It's just we're in kind of in a, the progress of like getting everything ready right now. <laughs> There's always a little bit of work to get things going, but it's all coming. I will go post this. Yeah, so if you want to go see, if you want to see pictures of the miniatures that we painted in this stream, go join our Discord. There's a link in. Uh, the description down below. It should work. If it doesn't work and you try to join a Discord and it gives you an error, please let us know. Just yeah. leave a comment on the video or something because we've had that issue before and then I don't realize it and then all the links are broken. So um, yeah, if you try to join a Discord and you have any issues joining a Discord, just like comment anywhere, let us know and I'll, uh, I'll get that fixed so that you guys can, so you can actually get in our Discord. Yay, I'm very happy with the way mine turned out. Yeah, you should be, it looks fantastic. It's awesome. Turned out pretty much the way I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. How long did our stream end up being this time? Let's see, did we hit two hours? We did, two hours oh! and one minute. That's good. Two hours and one minute. Yeah. <laughs> that. That's a pretty, pretty close. That's a good amount of time for painting these miniatures. Oh, yeah. Two hours. Oh, my God. I, it's been a long time. Well, actually, no, it's not. <laughs> I was just sat and focused for two hours straight. <laughs> you did on Iron Man. I did. All right. So that's it for this stream. Yeah. I am tired. And yeah, me too. I'm all loopy because I was focusing. Yeah, thank you for anybody that joined the stream and anybody who watched. Yeah, we'll see you in Discord for sure. Hope you yeah, have a good night as well, you. Sammy. Thank and you for tuning in. Anybody watching this video later on after it streams, thanks for watching. Yeah. Join our Discord, check out all our stuff. Um, <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah, we very much do. Thank you. Rock on! Peace out!